السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته كيف حالكم أعزائي الطلاب طلاب جريد 6 ماي دير ستودنتس ام غانا تو اكسبلين ذيس ورك شيت بريفلي فوكسينج اون ذا مين بوينتس اوف ذيس ورك شيت اي ستارت باي كوست نمبر 1 25% اوف 60 از 15 سو اي ونت تو نو اتس ترو اور فولس هير He asked me 25% of 60. When I have this form, 25% of a number. So as you can see here, we have the percent and we have the total or the whole, which is 60. So he asked me if the part is 15 or no. Is 25% of 60 is 15 or no? How I calculate it? He won the part, which represents 25% of 60. Listen to me, guys. Here we have the percent. We have of 60, so we have the whole. I want the part. Is it 15 or no? To find the part, simply multiply 25, which is the percent, by the total, which is the whole, which is 60, and divided by 100. Why 100? Because 25%, it means 0.25 or over 100. So I need to multiply 25 by 60, then I divide by 100. You always can simplify one zero up with one zero down. Then we have 25 multiply six, divide 10. 25 multiply six equals 150. 150 divide by 10. So we can always, when we divide by 10, we erase one zero. So the answer is 15. So it's true. Now, second question, the area of triangle below this triangle is 90 meters squared. To find the area of triangle, I multiply base by height and divide by two. The base is 14, and the height is 10. Guys, you need to focus on one point. So the base and the height are always perpendicular, as you can see. Even if he give me this number 15, I don't care about it, because this is the base and this is the height and they are perpendicular, divide two. So 14 multiplied 10 equals 140. 140 divide two equals 70. They give me the answer is what? Seventy. So it's not 90, so the answer is false. We just saw رقم ثلاثة في true false. Ali said that the area of the polygram is 40 centimeters squared. So area of polygram base multiply height without dividing by two, remember this. So the base is 15 and the height is six and you have to notice that they are all perpendicular. Six multiply 15 equals 40, equals nine. But he put the answer is 40. So the answer is false. Next question, each small square in the figure below measure one inch on each side. What's the area of triangle? As I mentioned before, the area of triangle is base multiply height. As the but the triangle here is flipped. So the base is up. Let me count how many inches. One, two, three, four. So 
four multiply the height. The height is the perpendicular distance between the base and the opposite vertex. Between this and this. Let me count this the easiest way. One, two, three, four, five. So four multiply five, and don't forget to divide by two. Four multiply five divided by two equals 10. So the answer is A. Next question, guys. Ahmed bought a computer for 30% of the list price. So the discount he get is 30%. I don't know the list price. Here he mentioned the list price is 2,500. How much is the discount? We want to know the part which represents the discount. So we have the percent. We have this price, which is the total. But I want to know the discount. So directly I multiply 30, which is the percent, by the total, which is 2,500, and divide by 100. When you divide by 100, you can erase two zeros. If you have multiply here, or you multiply 30 by 2,500, and divide by 100. Now I have only 30 multiplied 25. 3 multiplied 25, 75. And I have one zero only, because two zeros were simplified with 100. So the answer is seven hundred fifty dollars. Now next question. Find the area of parallelogram. As I mentioned, the area is the base. This or this, and the height. The height always perpendicular. We have square corner, as you can see. Always the base and the height, they have square corner. Is the distance between the two bases here in the parallelogram perpendicular distance. So the height is 5 and the base is 10. Just I ignore the 6. It's not the base or the height. 5 multiplied 10 equals 50. Find the area of parallelogram, same way, base, and I want perpendicular, or multiply 8. I ignore the 7. 4 multiply 8 is 32. Remember that in the triangle, we need to divide by 2. In the parallelogram, we then need to divide by 2. Now, next question. Hala, Hala wants to buy a paper, make a poster. Which piece of paper has the greatest area? If you look at them, all of these figures are polygrams. So I need to know, I want the greatest area. I need to know the area of each one. This, the first one is 12 multiplied 5 equals 60. The other one, 5 multiplied uh, 4 multiplied 8 equals 32. Then 9 times 7 is 63. Then 12 multiply this what? The base is 22. I'm sorry guys. And 18. So it's obviously that 22 multiply 18 is the greatest one but let me make sure. 22 multiply 18. But oh, I don't, I don't care about 18. I want the height. Yes, I think the height. Let me make it bigger. Yeah. 
here we are. So I want this. What will I this? I think this is the base 12. Uh, the height 12. So 12 multiply 22. 2 multiply 2, 4. 2 multiply 2, 4. I put 0 here. 1 times 2, 2. 1 times 2, 2. Now I add. Four plus zero. Four. Four plus two six. Obviously, it's the greatest one. This is the greatest one. Now, question number nine. As short answer, what percent? Look, guys, he he said, what percent? So he won the percent of. 180 of, he said of, this means this is the total or the whole. Is 36. Most probably the part is less than the whole because this is the part. So to find the percent, we multiply the part, which is 36, by 100. You have to show your work over 180. Then it is 1, 0, 1, 0. 10 multiply 36 is 16 over 18. 50 by 360 by 18 will find is 20. So the answer is 20% because you want the percent. By this, my friend, I come to the end of my video. I hope it's helpful for you guys. Try to focus, to understand, not just to memorize the answers. You have to improve yourself in uh, calculations. If you like the video, so uh, don't forget to uh, click on like and share the video to your friends and subscribe my channel, Mr. Moad Al-Jibaud. Thank you very much.